Welcome to this video on the business plan. This is your first assignment within the maritime business game. Why do we want you to write a business plan? The business plan you write to convince Mr. Jones, or the lecturer, to invest 5 million US dollar in your company. It is also an efficient way to identify the potential of your company. Do you have a good idea? Do you see something others don't? And can you convince a investor to give you some money? It will also teach you, of course, how an investor will look at your opportunities and how to judge an investment opportunity yourself. It combines important elements such as financial opportunities, approach, management style, risks, and how to deal with those. The business plan consists basically of two parts. There is a market assessment and a financial assessment. For this exercise, you have five pages. This includes the title page. This is not a lot of room, so make sure you have a consistent plan and that you present it very clearly. What should your business plan contain? Well, the market assessment, to be short, needs to contain a company idea, a presentation of who you are. A market analysis, so what are your options fitted to your company idea. A TOES, which is the revert of a SWOT, so a threat, opportunities, weakness and strength analysis, so how to reach those options. A confrontation matrix, is this the best strategy to reach these options? And of course a resulting strategy, which is the result of all of the above. These elements will be further detailed in the second presentation on this subject. The financial assessment is also an important part of the business plan. This should contain a free cash flow, so what will the investment or your strategy bring you over the time, an IRR, an internal rate of return, how much does it bring, does it bring enough for you as a company and for your strategy, how will you pay for it, and lastly, a net present value calculation. How much does it bring compared to other options? The business plan sounds like a straightforward approach. However, it is like with a design. You will spiral through all the steps multiple times to come up with the best strategy. As you can see in this overview, you can start with a mission idea, you can do a market analysis, then continue to a SWOT or a TOES analysis, confrontation matrix and form a strategy. Then you can turn on the left side where you test this strategy by creating a free cash flow, color correlating the IRR, loan strategy, the weighted effort cost of capital, and then check if the net present value is high enough. If not, you need to adopt, adjust the strategy, which means you need to relook, take another look at your mission, your market analysis, your SWOT. And so you will go through this figure eight a couple of times to come up with the best strategy for your company and the way you want to run a business and your interests. That doesn't mean it has to be the same as another. It also does not mean that there is one best strategy, but you will need to fine tune what you are doing and prove to Mr. Jones that it's worth doing. Thank you for your attention.